Hi, I'm Gina, creator and owner of Ritual Scents, LLC, and I'm going to talk about my incense, obviously. So, um, I have my incense for sale on my Etsy and at stores locally in Salem, Oregon. So, there's three options to buy. So, you can either buy the kits in the stores or on my Etsy. Um, they come with the incense, which comes in a glass jar. And if you get the full kit, you also get the ramekin, which is where you would burn the incense in. And you also get a coaster, which I put my logo on. And then you would get these, a spoon, which I love these because they're super cute. And then you would also get the list of ingredients and then the name of the incense. Um, and then an instruction card that says, you know, how to burn it and, you know, please don't eat it. <laughs> and then, you know, my business card. So you can pick the full kit, which gets you all of those things. Or you can choose to just buy the incense and the spoon. Or you can just buy the incense. So three options for you. So when you get your incense, whether it's in the kit just the incense and the spoon or just the jar, make sure you shake the jar. So this will help to incorporate the saltpeter that's in there. And it will also help to incorporate your energy. So as I said, there's saltpeter. Saltpeter is what makes this self-igniting. Um, so you don't have to buy charcoal discs. Me personally, I don't like charcoal discs. So that's why I use saltpeter. Um, so when I was a baby witch a very, very long time ago, back in the 1900s, um, I, 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 I burnt myself with charcoal discs. I had dishes explode. I think they get to be like 1500 degrees. They're just, they're hot and they're messy and they're just, sometimes they're just too much. So saltpeter is nice because you can measure how much you need. So that's why I use it. I also call my incense metaphysical because in addition to selecting specific ingredients for these blends, I am using the moon from the waxing to the full moon, but I'm also using my energy um, I'm setting intention. I am using ritual and sacred space to charge the incense, but I'm also using sound. Uh, I use bells. I use my singing bowl. I have um, <laughs> this egg shaker thing that helps me focus. Um, so I use sound, um, energy, intention, space, as in my sacred space. Um, I use crystals, candles, of course, smoke cleansing. Um, I use Florida water, which is mixed with moon water. Um, I speak over the... That was my cat. It wasn't anything weird. I speak intention over the incense. Um, it, it's time, energy, and space within sacred space. Um, to charge the incense um, in addition to the moon. So it all kind of peaks at the full moon. So as far as ingredients, I always have my base. My Kind of like when you're making a sauce or you have your, your holy trinity with the, you know, the celery, carrots, and onions. My holy trinity is rosemary, lavender, and sage. Um, I use common sage, not white sage, because I am non-native, so white sage is close to me, so I use common sage. But for me, my holy trinity, rosemary, lavender, common sage. Me personally, I think that that three, for me, I don't know, I, it, they provide the three those ingredients provide protection, purification, cleansing, peace, love, healing. 
So that's, for me, it's a good way to start. So that's why I use those three ingredients always. And then I build from there. So at the time of this filming, I have two um, blends for sale. Um, happy, healthy, wealthy, wise. <coughs> Excuse me. And then guides, grace, gratitude, and grounding. They are very different, those two blends. Happy, healthy, wealthy, wise um, is very earthy. Uh, partly because of the ingredients I picked. There's things like sassafras uh, and patchouli for wealth, but I also put nuts in there for wealth, which I, I think that's why it's partly because why it's earthy, but that's part of the correspondences. And then guides, grace, gratitude, and grounding is very ethereal and airy because of what I picked and what it's supposed to do. I mean, really, it's meant to contact spirit, partly, but also there's ingredients in there to help you ground and come back once you're done. But it it has ingredients like mugwort and wormwood and angelica root and rue and dandelion um, and frankincense and myrrh and copal. So it's very, like, for your third eye kind of astral projection type of blend and it felt very different when I was making it emotionally and spiritually it was very different so maybe you just have to buy them and try them but um, yeah this is kind of a background but I do want to show you because if you've seen any of my videos I've burnt my incense but I want, I want to be thorough so you just spoon out the incense and um, a little or a lot, however much you want. And it is self-igniting, but you still have to add fire. Unless you're fancy like that, I don't know. So just add fire. And you just keep it lit until you start to, that popping, that's all you need. And then I like to blow on it, but you can use your hand or a feather or just blow. If you have a spoon, you can add more, but you can use the spoon to lift it up a little bit once it gets going to allow more air in. So the coaster is nice because it has that notch. You can kind of carry it around. I like to carry it around. That's why I provided the coaster. Because <laughs> I'm walking around, cleansing the space, creating my intention, setting my intention, um, and getting that smoke all over. Because that's how I, but if you just wanna set it down and you know set your space and get the smoke going, while you set your intentions, do your prayers, your meditation, that's up to you. Um, one of the other things that's cool um, about these coasters, I was, I was showing someone and she's like, oh, you can just snuff it. And I was like, I'm gonna steal that. Cause it's like, yes, of course, obviously you could snuff it and then you're done. I'm like, I'm stealing that. So thank you for that. But just add a little more air and then you're back in business. And if you leave it closed, take the air out, it'll you know it'll go out. But you can either walk around with it or put it out. So it's kind of cool. So like I said, I've been doing this for a very long time. I've been making my incense for almost 20 years. So I'm used to the spark. So I know how much it's gonna spark. So get used to it and then enjoy. I hope that you, I hope this helps. I hope you learn something, hopefully. I hope you enjoy and love ritual sense as much as I do, so. Blessed be.